Good morning, Ancient Greece. My name is Kyra Zadi. And I'm Olivia Holly. And this is Zeus News. News fit for a battle. In today's news, we have the latest in sports, government, your favorite celebrity philosopher, the hottest gossip on Our Women of Greece, and even some stories on literature and religion. First, let's go to Kelsey with sports. Hey guys, it's been a great day at Olympia. This morning, we began sports after the torch ceremony celebrating the gods. So far, we've seen a lot of chariot races, discus, javelin, and more. Here's a clip from earlier when the, when the racers were lining up. Let's pan to the side to take a closer look. Run and take your mark. Set. Boom! Mm -hmm. Wow, look at that form, so natural. This has been much better than the last games four years ago. I mean last Olympiad. Now, let's focus on the award ceremony. The owners of course number three have won the chariot race and received the gold. Hopefully there will be other winners later on in the evening. Back to you, Dahlia. Thanks for that, Kelty. Now, reporting live from the Olympics, Michelle, what do you have for us? Okay. Thanks, Tal. Well, my fellow Greeks, this year's games were a perfect representation of the importance of our gods and goddesses, in particular Zeus. As you know, this competition, which is held on a very high pedestal, could not take place without our beloved Zeus. The Olympics are just one of the many competitions that occurs that affect our daily lives. Outside the stadium, I even watched an animal sacrifice take place. We ask that the gods and goddesses bring rain and return for the blood that has been shed. Practices of exchange like this animal sacrifice include liquid offerings and libations. The gods and goddesses play a vital role in each of these everyday events, and we shall be thankful that they have placed, been placed into our lives. What would we even do without them? Tune in next week for our special documentary of the many myths of Athena. Now back to you, Tal. Thanks, Michelle. Now to you, Talia, for today's politics. Olivia. Anyway, local Athenian leaders have just issued a new form of government. They call it a democracy. Athens is now allowing their people to vote for their own leaders. It gives the people a chance to have a voice that could be heard. But women are still not allowed to vote. Good. In other news, tensions between Sparta and Athens are starting to rise because of the different ruling systems. As Athens is rising because of the changes in government and improvement in strength, Sparta is growing envy towards them, hoping to maybe take them down. War may break out, but citizens, do not be alarmed. Now, on the my co-host Olivia, reporting on recent women news. Recent women's news. Athenian men are still not allowing women to be seen in public by unrelated men. Athenian women are unable to comment on the subject because their opinion doesn't matter. Meanwhile, in Sparta, women can own land, work the fields, and show themselves in public. Here to comment on this is Bathsheba, a Spartan woman. I don't live in Sparta. I rule Sparta. Us Spartan women do everything. Harvest food, own land, and demand respect. While our men are away at war, we run the city-state. Truly enlightening, Bathsheba. Thank you for that wonderful insight. That's all for Women's News today. Tune in to Women's News next week to hear about job opportunities for Athenian women. There aren't any. Next, Sonia will let you know what new office to look out for. Sonia. Oh. Hey, people of Greece. After such interesting stories, I wanted to inform you on some upcoming interesting stories. In recent news, Homer's bestsellers, The Odyssey and The Iliad, which show the bravery and strength of our warriors during the Trojan War, have won the Athenian Pulitzer Prize. In news of poetry, lyric poems have hit an all-time high thanks to Sappho and her passion. Shout out to you, Sappho. And most recently, Greece is entering its golden age. So get ready to see Sophocles, Euripides, and 
as Sicles in their latest dramas. If you like to laugh, make sure you don't miss the newest comedies where a light-hearted society can join together for a good community chuckle. That's it for today, Athens. Thanks, Sonia. Lastly, Alexa will fill you in on the latest in Greek philosophy. Hello, and welcome to the celebrity segment of Zeus News, where we give you all the gossip on today's latest philosophers. We're going to talk about three of my personal favorites today, Socrates, Plato, and Aristotle. Starting off with Socrates, he was seen in jail today refusing yet another escape attempt from his followers. So sad. Anyways, second philosopher today, Plato, was seen walking out of his academy, the Platonic Academy, carrying papers. Maybe some of his famous writings like The Republic or The Allegory of the Cave? I guess we'll never know. Last but not least, Aristotle was also seen today involved in a scholarly scandal of sorts. He was seen opening a rival academy to the Platonic Academy. Some Greek unidentified sources have told me that it's because Plato is going to give his academy to his nephew and not to Aristotle. And that made Aristotle very angry. So, what do you think? Was it right for Plato to not give his academy to Aristotle? Send in the answers here for us to review at Zeus News. We out, Athens! No, it's a fake thing. You missed your son. Is it on? <laughs> is it on? Yeah, it's on. Do you know, do you know how the video Ow! <laughs> Just bump and then explosion. And you have to make the sound go uh, Or do you want to do the sound or do you be dead and silent? Because real G's move in silence. Which one do you want to do? I'm a real G, so I have to move in silence. Alright. Three, two, one. Oh, I didn't <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> <laughs> That's definitely in the blue. Be like, now to Sonia. Do I say now to Sonia? Yes. Now to Sonia. Like, restart. You go to Oh, God. Running at the Three, two, one. Thanks, Sonia. Lastly, Alexa will fill you in on the latest Greek fills.